In this problem, they ask us to find f prime of p if f of p is equal to e. So a big rule here to go over is that if we have any function that is just some constant, c, then the derivative of that constant is always 0. And we could think about it in terms of a graph. If we have the graph of any constant, say we have f of x equals 4, what that would be is a line, a horizontal line, at the y value of 4. And so the slope of this function is 0 the entire time, which means the derivative, which is the slope at any point, is equal to 0 the entire time. So this could be f of x equals 7, that kind of constant. It could be f of x equals pi. Pi is a number. Pi is a constant. Or it could be f of x, or in this case, f of p, equals e. e is very similar to pi. It is just a number, so its derivative is also 0. All right, let's keep going through a couple more examples. We have, find f of r if f of r is equal to p. Now, in the other problem, the one that came before this, it was 3, 1, 2, d, we said multiple times that if we have 1, p, then its derivative will just be 1. However, the input variable must be p in order for this to be true. But in this case, the input variable is r. So really, if it were 1r, then the derivative would be just 1. However, we don't see 1r, we see 1p. So in this case, since we don't see an r in here, then p is just representing a constant because p is not our independent variable. It's not our input variable. So the derivative of any constant is just 0. So they'll try to trick you. So be uh, cautious, pay close attention to if they mix up the variables here. We need to see the r in this function for the function's derivative to not be 0. Okay, so in this case, D is our answer when we break out the eraser. Let's go ahead and do one more example. Oh, actually, nope, that's on in the next one. All right, we'll pick up on these in the next video.